Howdy friends, this is Joe Pool again. Um, I had a request to uh, talk about the engine on my Kit Fox a little more. It's called a D-Motor. And so I am um, uh, going to do that today. It's a nice day, it's a little cool, but uh, beautiful place and beautiful day in Con Conroe, Texas today. So, a uh, little progress, I made. I installed my seat belts. These were a pain to adjust, and I have to set my seat pan in first before we tie these in to these tangs right here. So hopefully we can do that tomorrow, and um, that way we can put our seat in, we can run the engine some more. Um, so this is the engine, the D-motor. I like this motor. It's water cooled, flathead, and uh, it's a it's got a narrow profile. It bolts it bolts right up to a Jabiru engine mount. Um, I bought this mount from the uh, Jabiru dealer in uh, Tennessee. And they no longer have any more of these. And apparently Jabiru does not manufacture uh, Jabiru engine mounts for Kit Foxes anymore. It'd be nice if somebody would fabricate some. And so anyway, this uh, D-motor comes with the uh, oil cooler and all the oil lines to hook up the oil system and the oil tank. Uh, it does not come with the radiator hoses or the radiator you're on your own for that uh, you can order it with a starter in the back here's the starter or you can order it with a starter on top and it won't be much higher so it'll still be under the cowling so um, I uh, don't have the exhaust pipes on it comes with a muffler but you have to weld up the stainless uh, to, to fit so I decided uh, my muffler was not going to fit quite well here, so I just decided to go without a muffler. I'm just going to put straight pipes down. Uh, it's a, it's, here's the oxygen sensor. This just goes right there. The pipes go straight down. So uh, this is the computer. Pardon the amateur camera work. This is a, it's all FADEC. There's no um, mixture adjustment, and so uh, it knows with the altitude, it knows, you know, the RPM of the engine. So it's a pretty smart little um, system. Um, uh, according to the, it's an LF26 four-cylinder. They also manufacture, I believe they call it an LF39 six-cylinder. So uh, this engine puts out. I believe at 2,900 RPM, 91 horsepower, at 2,800 RPM, 88 horsepower, and at 2,500 RPM, it puts out um, 162 foot-pounds of torque. Compared that with the Rotax that was on here, the Rotax only had 65 horsepower and 55 foot-pounds of torque. So this one has uh, quite a bit more torque at 2500 rpm after 2500 rpm you trade off torque for horsepower So it'll probably I would uh, guess it would probably cruise fairly nicely at 20 at 2500 rpm, but we'll find out later this year so um, The deal on this motor is um, I hope I'm in the view of the camera this engine I bought in uh, November of 2019. I received it in March of 2020 from Belgium. It came through Canada. Uh, Fisher Flying Products uh, is the dealer uh, for North America for this engine. 
and at that time I paid seventeen thousand five hundred motors. I fit seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. So uh, around uh, early twenty, uh, late twenty twenty, they decided. Uh, apparently, the factory decided they were not going to export these engines anymore they were going to keep them for themselves for their helicopters because they they manufacture their own helicopters it's a nice helicopter and so earlier this year I got the call that they were going to sell them again to for aircraft they had a new investor and uh, but the price doubled I believe this engine is uh, now thirty five thousand five hundred dollars uh, as of earlier this year, it might have gone up by now, and so um, the six-cylinder is now like fifty thousand uh, dollars. The six-cylinder puts out 125 horsepower. Now you can turbocharge this engine and get 130 horsepower out of the four-cylinder turbocharged, but that bumps the price up to fifty thousand dollars for the four-cylinder turbocharged. So um, it's a great engine. I love it. It's just that I, uh, the the future of importing it is probably uh, kind of in doubt. So we just don't know anything. Uh, there's another engine called the UL Power, and I believe uh, that's probably better supported here in the United States. And I like that engine too. Uh, one of my neighbors is leaving here. dollar plane so anyway uh, I'm, I will see how this engine performs when I'm done with it hopefully later this year and so uh, I'm uh, uh, I called uh, Duke propellers uh, and uh, they were real they knew exactly what propeller to use for this engine it's the swirl 2 and so um, So hopefully over the whole, the whole engine package will give me some good performance. I'm not interested in stole uh, demonstrations or anything like that. I just want the $100 hamburger. And so um, that's the story as far as I know. Things might have changed. So uh, it's up to you guys uh, to decide what motor to put on your... Uh, Kid Fox. Um, I um, like I said. I, I think it's a great engine. Uh, I just don't know if it's worth thirty-five thousand five hundred these days. You know. But anyway, uh, that's it for this video. And hopefully, I want to get my seat in so that I can uh, run the engine some more. And uh, you also notice my rudder pedals are all gone. I'm waiting on Kit Fox to send me the rudder pedal reinforcement kit. Uh, I don't know when that's going to get here. I thought of, uh, here's my rudder pedals. I thought of putting these uh, reinforcements. This is uh, 70, 70, 70, 75 T6, 71,000 aluminum. And I thought I'd cherry max them there, this one on this side. But um, I decided to go ahead and wait on Kid Fox to, to uh, send me the uh, kit. And then we'll see. We'll take a look at everything. So a lot of this time I've lost is uh, my wife hasn't been feeling well. I've lost time waiting on parts. But uh, I'm also just found a um, sport pilot school because um, I don't have my pilot's license yet or so hopefully uh, I can make arrangements to get to Florida and use that uh, sport pilot uh, accelerated program they have and, um, and so we can start flying this summer with this airplane and we'll post flying videos for you guys I just can't wait 
anyway that's it for this video and we'll see you on the next one that i want to show post an, another video of the engine running i still need to uh, program the eis system and also the adsb out all that stuff so while it's running i can probably program the, the engine uh, information system to uh, show rpms and all that stuff okay y'all have a great day and we'll talk to you on the next one